What is up you guys, this is John from John Kill 3D Gaming and I'm here to talk to you about one of my personal favorite games and I have never got a chance to review it. I'm finally taking advantage now. I mean, I played this game heavily when it debuted on the PlayStation 3 and heavily now that it was remastered about last year and the price has dropped significantly, significantly for the game. And that is... Borderlands, but this is Borderlands the Handsome Collection, and this is part one of two reviews I'm going to do because I'm going to talk about Borderlands 2, Let me know when you're done with that job. which comes with this game, you but it. I'm also going to do Borderlands the pre sequel, which comes with the game, and I never played the pre sequel, so the pre sequel will be a fresh uh, thing for me. But Borderlands 2, hands down, out of any of the games so far, it is my favorite. Because I'm doing this in honor of Borderlands 3 has uh, been announced and is in development. So, let me talk about Borderlands 2. I've never had such a good time. Especially when it comes to games where you have to, you know, where other games require you to. to some games that you go on loot hunts. There is no better hunting treasure experience, blasting experience, and co-op experience like the Borderlands games have. All of the co-op games are great in their own right, but Borderlands, when it comes to co-op, it's masterful. It has a colorful cast of characters, colorful graphics, aka it looks like com it looks like a comic book. The graphics have a unique shell-shaded comic style, which is amazing. I really like that, and you know that helps the charm and the life brought into this game because if I were to rate Borderlands 1 when I first played Borderlands 1 it, I liked it but it wasn't my personal favorite um, and I would have just given it like a 5 it was an average game for me Borderlands 2 I, and I want to know how does a game that didn't have very much story in the first game create one of the best sequels in your franchise I mean holy shit um, you can play as uh, a co quite a different Vault Hunters, being that this game comes packaged with all its expansions. You get to play several different Vault Hunters, and you can customize their colors and hair, or not hair, but um, their colors and the way they look to an extent. And I kind of wish that you could create your own custom Vault Hunter, that would have been nice, but you know what? The, the, you go on this journey with the Vault Hunter you choose, you can level him up with extensive level up, you can find guns that suit you, and I mean, holy fuck, I have never seen so much loot, so much guns, I mean, for the fuck of it, I don't even do missions, I just go out there and start raiding shit just so I can find things. This game requires you to do that, you can just, it's all about having a good time. And by far, for their games, because I haven't played Tales of the Borderlands, which is like the telltale makeover of the game, kind of like The Walking Dead and so on and so forth. I haven't played that yet, but you know what, I will give it a try, because I did like The Walking Dead games, uh, the telltale version at least. And I'll give that a try. Borderlands 1, I kind of wish, you know, maybe Borderlands 1 would have been a part of this package, but you know what, 2 and the pre-sequel were more popular. And I really want to know what I'm in store for the pre-sequel. I might just do a live stream of pre-sequel. Who knows? But Borderlands 2, right now I'm playing it by myself. I'm trying to convince some of my friends to get it. But if anybody has it, I bought it for a steal. 15 bucks, And it comes with $120, maybe $125 worth of shit. How can you beat it? Come on. It's that good of a game. You know, the world is huge. The world of Pandora between it. Minions, Psychopaths, Nutjob fucking demented got beings to its creatures life and you don't know what you'll find you could be doing you, you, you can accidentally deviate from your mission like it's kind of like elder scrolls where you're doing your main task all of a sudden something holds your attention and it de you deviate down the, the the next path um one thing i gotta say is i'm very happy that this game has endless amounts of missions and it requires you to play new game plus to get even greater loot like the loot is ever changing there's no simplistic loot in this game the combat is great the fucking game see if games want to be explorative yet have 
great co-op and so on and so forth. Destiny tried it. Destiny fucking well, Destiny didn't fail financially because obviously people suck Bungie's cock. Um, I didn't. Borderlands signed me up to swallow the game's balls because no homo. But I'm sorry, I just love the game in itself. Borderlands, I mean, come on, get four of your friends together, choose a class that you feel comfortable with, level up. Continue to play the game over and over on New Game Plus. Um, it's just, it has so many regions, so many different story outcomes, so many things you can do, so many collectibles. I mean, holy hell, the amount that's in this game. It's like, between you wanting to kill, go on your mission to kill Handsome Jack, they incorporate the Vault Hunters from the first game. This game has so many characters that are just over the top and and my favorite character in this game so far i don't know if you guys know him if you play the game you know who he is is torg torg reminds me he's pretty much the hercule from dragon ball he's hercule from dragon ball Z, just borderlands remix and you know what that makes me get, love the game even more i mean you have lilith you have um scooter from the first game you have moxie you have roland Everybody, you can tell who everyone is, but you have the crazy gun pawn shop guy, you have the, the insane doctor, and I mean, these psychopaths are one of my, the, the comedy in this game is all over the place, between references to other video games, of the P, from the PS3 and Xbox generation, obviously, to now, it's just incredible, I, no matter what, I feel Borderlands will continue to hold the test of time as one of the best co-op experience, loot experience, and you know what? I hope the sequel. You're on PS4 now. The sequel has ever, can do anything. They can go anywhere, and I would love to support it. I mean, if they make the game beyond huge, maybe up the co-op player count, because every time a new play, every time you play with your friends, everything becomes tougher. New missions open up. Like when you play New Game Plus, you can not only go, you can go through the main story campaign. All of a sudden, there's new missions. From the first one, it's like it's created on that engine that it just constantly keeps doing new and new and new things. I mean, hell, you could fight a cybernetic mutated Tyrannosaurus Rex robot or a giant fucking turkey called the Gobbly Gobbler. It, it, really, what more can you ask for with the game? I can't do it justice, that's why I always never thought that I should review it. But, Borderlands. This is part one of two reviews, Borderlands 2. You are a 10 out of 10 for me. You are the perfect game in my book. And until next time, guys, this is John. Keep on gaming and like.